Hi, welcome to Hard to Reset Info channel, dear viewers. In front of me, iPad Pro 11 2022, and now I'm gonna show you how to speed up your iPad or uh, iPad OS device. And if iOS device is new, then it's probably working fine as it is, but if your device is three or more years old, then you probably need to take thumb steps to speed up your device. And now I will show you what step you need to take to refresh the speed of your iPad 11 2022. So, first of all, you need to understand what is slowing down your device. And way or another, it's the amount of disk space that affects the performance of your device the most. So, of course, people who have invested in device with a lot of internal memory later encounter a slowing down of its fa fast action. The thing is that in order for your device to always work fast, you should try to always leave at, le at least 35% for about of the storage free. So now I will show you how to find out what takes up the most memory and how to clear this memory. So first open the settings, then Find your general iPad storage and cool. Here you will see how much memory is being used. It's here and how much uh, memory is left. In the list below, you can see which application are using the most space on your drive. If you noticed that uh, an app that you don't use much is taking up a lot of space, it's a good time to consider uninstalling it. So, for example, if you if you noticed that, for, for example, um, books app, you don't need books app, uh, you just can click delete app and delete this app. Okay. Uh, so, but um, if you decide you don't need an app and it's simply taking up space on your device, you can remove it. But if you have an application that you use very rarely, but sometimes you need it very much and you don't want to lose any data from it, you can unload, offload the application from your storage to do it. So you need to click on this application and just click offload app and click offload and as you can see you have this app on your device um, you have this uh, you have this app on your device uh, and when you want to use it again you can quickly download it uh, and you will continue where you left this app off so, cool. The next step you can take is to upload your photos and videos, your multimedia, to the cloud storage. You can use iCloud or any other cloud storage. For example, iCloud uh, gives you 5 gigabytes for free uh, and you can buy 50 more for just a dollar a month. You can expand your iCloud storage up to 2 terabytes in total, but the more storage you want, the more expensive the storage will be. So you can also use other cloud storages, such as um, Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive or Mega. Google provides 15 gigabytes for free, uh, and Mega provides as much as 50. So Mega is good result for for the people who has uh, small storage on his iPads. And the last step you can take to clean up the space on your device is to see if you have any unnecessary downloaded files. To do this, open the application Files, find it, click Files. Here, choose on my iPad, and here you will see all files on your iPad. 
I have a new iPad and I have no files here. But if you have files here, you can you can see how much space it's using. For example, I have folder new. So click on it, choose get info, and here you can see how much uh, it weighs. For example, my folder weighs two and and 35 gigabytes. I have one video file here, and you can delete these files. Okay, then remove it from recently deleted. Of course, you can free up space from your gallery, deleting your... wait a while... Um, open your gallery, then find here... find here deleted, recently deleted. Choose your... use your face ID or pin and just click select and delete all. Okay, we have free up our space deleting, d deleting deleted uh, photos. Um, okay, and the second aspect that can affect the performance of your system is full RAM. Again, the winners are those who have invested in a device with a lot of RAM, but unfortunately, if you cannot give any recommendation, I, can, uh, I can't give you any recommendation to clean the RAM on mobile devices from Apple, because the company doesn't allow third-party applications to kill processes in RAM, so you self need to, uh, to, to get rid of, of, of application then consume an an abnormal amount of RAM on your device. So there are apps like Chrome, Messenger or TikTok. So that's it. Well I hope I was able to help you free up space and your device and speak uh, and, and speed up your device. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Give me some likes. And that's it. See you. Bye.